Today, let's play with some toys. Hey guys, it's me, Minori. And oh, <laughs> Baymax is right here. You can't see him because he's behind all the toys. And guys, when I mean toys, I mean serious. I'm not just gonna unbox it. I'm not gonna like test it for a bit and then call it off. I'm gonna play with them 100% and have fun with them 100%. Like, I believe adults can have fun like kids too and unleash their inner child. I believe every soul is a child at heart. So guys, let's just have fun. And I'm not gonna just play with any toy. I'm going to be playing with Sanrio related crafting toys and woobles. I mean, yes, this isn't really a toy, but I thought it would be like perfect for this video. So I just wanted to add this in. If you don't know, these are called woobles and they're like like beginner crocheting kits that are always sold out and they came out with some real ones so i just had to get these for myself so yeah um let's just jump right in guys let's just relax and have fun for this video let's get started okay so guys let's start with this one and it's called Lorun factory apparently you get some yarn wrap it around this thing and apparently you can make a tons of stuff oh this toy was made in 2019 all the toys that i got are actually old and i got them second handed because they don't make these anymore i had to like hunt for them let's see Ooh. <gasps> some yarn oh this is a pretty decent kit it comes with a lot of different kinds of yarns and i have to say some of these toys come with like this much yarn. It comes with these like decoration parts, the toy itself, some extra tools, and a sheet of instructions. Let me see how this works. Okay, first let's put this all together. So first you take this out and place this in right here. So apparently if you turn this handle right here, this thing moves sideways. Okay, let me quickly make one random thing. It doesn't really have to be a thing, I just want to make something. Okay, so I think I know how it works. So first off, we're gonna take this rubber band and then we're gonna get these two rings and hook it on on each side. Then we're gonna get this stick, hook one ring on this side and hook it on to the other side. Like so. And we're just gonna place this stick right here. Next, we're gonna get some yarn, pull it through and into this ring and wrap it around on the edge. And now all you have to do is turn this handle. Steady, cut it off with scissors, and carefully take it out and slide it off. And with the extra yarn, I'm going to slide it in through the rubber bands and tie it together. The final piece. Okay, let's try making this one more time. And here's another roll of yarn. And with these two, you can apparently make a cute pom-pom print. I'm just going to go ahead and take out this face part and put it inside the hole. I'm also gonna take out the other parts, like his feet and his tail and his butthole. Pom Pom Prune always has a butthole. And I'm just gonna glue all the extra parts together. And guys, this is what I have. It's a Pom 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 Prune. Is she cute? Yes. Is it my proudest masterpiece ever? No. <laughs> so I'm gonna try playing with this one more time. And this time I'm going to try to make a really big Hello Kitty. So now I'm supposed to put them into a circle, put the big one in the center. So now you're supposed to sew it or glue it all together. I'm just going to use a glue gun. So it looks something like this. And lastly, I'm going to add the decorations. Like these are the ears, the eyes, nose, whiskers, and the bow. So after you glue it all together, it looks something like this. Okay, so my thoughts. I think it's a very fancy toy for a very simple concept. But, I mean, it's cute. Just looking at little Sanrio characters help me make something, it's just so cute. And if it makes me this happy, I have to say the overall experience is a 10 out of 10. Okay, next toy, let's play with Pacherie. And guys, this is one of my favorite toys ever. It's like genius. This is a toy that you can make your original pouch or bag by patching up little plastic squares. Inside we have these like squarish pieces, bag chain, cute cinnamon roll, pouch with a zipper, and some random tools. And in this bag we have the pattern sheet. I mean, it kind of looks complicated at first, but it's really straightforward. Let me first open all these bags. Free the little squares. So now we're going to have to fill up the pattern by putting these squares on top. 
Most of them are like little squares like this, but some of them have really distinctive shapes. So these, you can't really change where they go. They're supposed to go right here and here, but all the other spaces, you could kind of like change them around. So for this toy, you're going to patch up all these squares and make your own pouch. So it's actually very useful. Not really for kids because it's actually really complicated and you need a lot of hand muscle. Why did I just do that? That was awkward. Let me first place down all the regular shapes. And these with the hole in the middle goes right here. Now onto the fun part. The rest are all squares. So we've got clear, blue, and pink. You get to choose where to put them. I feel like this should go right here. This is the special centerpiece. I am torn. How about this? Like a pink stripe going across. Maybe clear right here, blue right here. Hmm. I only have three more pink. Wait, four. I only have four more pink. Oh wait, it's perfect. I could just put it right here. Four right here, clear, blue, and clear. And guys, I think I like this. They give you several suggestions for the patterns, but I didn't really follow those patterns. I kind of came up with my own. Once you like the pattern, it's time to patch them all up. This is the part that's a little bit tricky. These are the connectors. So the connectors kind of look like little X's and each square has a hole. So you kind of want to like attach it onto the hole. And once it goes in, it's quite sturdy, but you can still take it off if you need to. Now we're going to get the square next to it and attach it onto the corner. And that's basically how you patch them together. So we got one attachment done, a hundred more to go. It also comes with a different type of connector, but these connectors are for the very ends. I think you kind of got the idea of this toy, so let's just put them all together. But this part is a little bit tedious. It's a bit time consuming and you need some hand muscle. Last time I did this, my hand was kind of aching. So yeah, I know this is a toy and it's targeted towards kids, but I really think adults can enjoy this as well. Some crafting stores actually sell these extra parts in all different colors, so you could actually make your very own creation in many different styles. Did I mess something up? <laughs> Wait, what happened right here? Oh, it was because I was talking. Let me just take these off. I think I was supposed to connect it to this. Easy fix. You know, I could still change the pattern over here. I don't know if I like the pink line in the back as well. Hmm. Okay, I just had a Minori meeting in my head. And after second thought, I might not like the pattern right here. It's just so repetitive. It's like the same thing over and over again. And I kind of want to like mix it up. So maybe, um, how about something like this? Last pink goes right in the center. Do I like this? Okay, I think I made up my mind. Oh no, I messed up the pattern. We're also going to connect the ends using these pieces. It goes in right here. I'm going to add the back. Because it has a backing, it's got a little bit more stability. It's like stuck on there really nice. So now this is the hard part. I'm just going to look at the instruction sheet and going to connect the edges together. You're supposed to match up the numbers. Like two goes in right here, three and three, four and four. So one goes right here. Two, three, wait, what? You know, it's not hard. It's a bit confusing. And there we have it. <gasps> It's actually so cute! But wait, we're not done yet. So the finishing touches, we're supposed to put this pouch inside. So I don't know if you guys can see, there's two holes on the ends. Okay, that's really hard to show on camera. So I'm just gonna put this pouch inside. And I'm just gonna use these connectors again to connect the ends and the pouches together. And guys, there we have a pouch! I love how it's transparent too because you can see what's inside without opening it. And guys, we could decorate it with this cinnamon roll. I mean, I could put this right here. Or you could add this chain to make it into a shoulder bag. Like, that's amazing! Wait, 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 let me put on the strap. Oh, I love it! Look at how cute this is! I mean, it's dirty. It's waterproof. It's transparent. I mean, literally, there's nothing bad to say about this. It's definitely a 10 out of 10. Okay, next toy. Moving on to Hoitburu. This is a very, very popular, very well-known toy in Japan. Like, there's no way you don't know about this toy if you live in Japan. This one specifically is a Sanrio character's macaron kit. You get to make your own little cute macarons. And this is what was inside. We're just gonna use this whipped cream, fill it up, and decorate it with these pearls. Just because it's Sanrio, it makes it 10 times better. At least in my world. My Melody, Pom Pom Perrin, Kuromi, Hello Kitty, and Cinnamon Roll. You know, Cinnamon Roll's really hard to pronounced because you're not supposed to say cinnamon roll. There's supposed to be no N. It's cinnamon roll. But in short, we call him cinnamon. Anyways. Huh. 
I'm not that happy with the amount of decorations that we got, so I just want to add more with whatever I have in my room. Like these sprinkles, maybe like sparkles, random glitters, and I think that's good. Let's start with Hello Kitty. Some people ask me who's my favorite Sanrio character. Hello Kitty definitely has a special place in my heart. I've been with Hello Kitty since I was two years old. I'm just gonna twist this on. Let's start filling it up with some cream. And that's how you do it. Oh, this is gonna be so cute. A lot of sprinkles. You know, the more the merrier. Just pop it back in. And there we have a super cute macaron. So how to use this? It's really simple. You just wanna place the cream over the thorns. That wasn't the best whipping cream ever, but it's okay. You can't really see it. Pump pump print. Like right here. Next, Kuromi. And now I'm just gonna put it aside for it to completely dry. It's so cute. I wanna make it into like a keychain and put it on my keys. You could decorate your phone with it. There's so many ways to use this. Okay, I'm actually coming back to this pouch. I didn't notice these extra studs inside. How could I forget about these? So these are like extra connecting parts that you could switch it out with these ones. So I could put like studs right here. It just makes it look extra fancy. I mean, one works too. <gasps> Ooh, this looks really good. So I'm just gonna carefully take this connector out and I'm gonna add this one instead. I love it even more. That's definitely a great touch. And next, Aqua Nail Studio. Okay, I've been interested in this kit for a very long time, but I'm really interested because apparently you can make nails with only water. I know doing nails is fun and all, but it's not really for kids because like nail polish is kind of toxic, but this, you only use water. Let's open her up. And this is what was inside. I mean, this is a really weird looking tweezer and a lot and a lot of fake nails. Oh, which one should I use? Like, look at this one. Like this one, I would wear it as an everyday nail. <laughs> Okay, it's so funny because this is for kids, but these are actually like the exact size for me. Like look at how teeny tiny that is and it fits my pinky. By the way, it's 0.8 millimeters long and like 0.6 millimeters across. I don't know if anyone used to know about this. It's about like 4.3 centimeters long. Fun fact about Minori, I filled up the nail polish with just water and we are all set. Let's start decorating. I wanna go with like my melody. Oh, this is gonna be so cute. These stickers are so small. And onto these like 3D decorations. And this is when you use some water. So you want to activate these decorations with water. Let it rest for a bit. I don't know if shaking does anything. And it worked! I'm gonna give it some time to stick. Cause like, I would totally buy this for my daughter if she wanted to do her nails. Maybe a rose. Ooh, how about this bow? I'm gonna put something big and noticeable on the pinky. My pinky needs some love. What do you guys think? Let's try decorating these nails. I mean, I would use this color. What character does this remind me of? Let's go with little twin stars. What else? Ooh, I want to see what happens if I paint it directly onto the nails. Look, a tiny little bear. I actually really want to try doing nail art. I loved doing my nails when I was younger. The thing is, it kind of gets in the way when I'm making videos. Ooh, let's make this one all Hello Kitty. I'm going to add Kiropi onto my pinky because Kiropi is my partner's favorite character. I'm going to add this huge ribbon onto Hello Kitty. So here's some glitter and I want to see if I could add these glitter without glue. I'm just going to paint some water and activate the glue. Okay, let's dunk the whole nail inside. Oh hey, it worked! I'm going to find glitter for the next two months. This is how it turned out. And once it's all dry, you could just take it off. And with these double-sided stickers, you could stick it onto your nails. I mean, obviously they're for kids. I love the idea of only using water. And for that, I have to give it 10 out of 10. And now the most anticipated, the Woobles. So let's check these one by one to see what they have inside. I've been wanting to try them out. Like I know they're really popular right now in the crocheting world. It is a bit pricey though because one bag costs $40. So this is already $120. I had to get my brother to ship it to me from San Francisco because they don't ship it to Japan. So including shipping, it was a lot. But yes, they collaborated with Sanrio. So I just had to get it for myself. And I mean, I had to get it because each bag comes with an original customized crocheting 
hook. So these are all beginner sets. First, it has a lot of yarns. The label's so cute. Everything is like 100 times better with Sanrio on it. But I heard that they use these because it's easier to crochet. You won't get your hook like stuck in between the yarns and that happens a lot. We oobly bits. So it also comes with eyes, a needle, and this card. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to like show it to you guys. So I'm just gonna cover it a bit. But when you scan it, there's gonna be a step-by-step -step guide. So that's very useful. And some cotton. And guys, this is what I was excited about. <gasps> oh, look at how pretty she is. Look at all these Hell Kitties. For me, it makes crocheting time 10 times more fun with my favorite characters on them. So yeah, I just really, really wanted this hook. Cinnamon roll. That is more than enough to make one amigo to me. So we got a lot of yarn, cotton, some extra tools. <gasps> Cinnamon roll version. That is so adorable. I love the design. I mean, if this makes me really happy, I probably really needed this. And lastly, but not least, my melody. <gasps> Oh, I didn't notice this, but it also comes with a magic ring with some markers. Wait, let me check the other ones. So this is a Hello Kitty set. It was hidden inside the yarn, but each kit comes with a magic ring that's already done. So I think it's very thoughtful. And the card, the hook. Beautiful. I mean, from now on, these are like the only crocheting hooks that I'm ever gonna use. Okay, so guys, which kit should I start from? Hmm. Okay, let's start with Cinnamon Roll because I think it's gonna be the easiest. I mean, look at him. He only has one color. So cinnamon roll it is. Okay, so first let me look for the video. So I'm not gonna show you guys the video itself because that's kind of rude. Please purchase this if you wanna see them step by step. But the overall site, it looks kind of like this. How to hold a hook and yarn. Oh, that's a good beginner basic. This is such a good tutorial. I mean, this itself is probably not worth the $40, but the tutorial, I could see a lot of effort going into these projects. So apparently it takes around three to eight hours to complete one. I'm actually going to the park to see some sakuras with my puppies. So I'm not gonna be working on it the whole time, but I will be timing myself whenever I work on this project. So hopefully I could finish it in like a few hours. Okay, one thing I don't like about this kit is so minimal, everything else is great. I'm not really a fan of their stitch marker. Like if you open it, like every single one of their stitch markers. So whenever I want to use the stitch marker, I have to use like both hands to like pry it open and like hook it on compared to the ones that I'm actually using. And when you open it, it actually opens all the way. I know it's like really minimal and honestly you could buy these for super cheap but for me this stitch marker was a little bit hard to use. So this is how it looks after five rounds. So far I have to say the tutorials are so in-depth. Like there's no way you would mess up watching these tutorials. Okay let's work on it for a few more rounds. I need a yarn bowl. Why do I not have a yarn bowl yet? And this is how it looks after nine rounds. It's like a small hat. Oh, it's kind of coming together. And while I really want to continue this, it's time for me to go to the park. Time to add some eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six. So maybe right here. How does that look? Is that a little bit too far apart? And now I'm just gonna eye it. Huh, it's not going through. Wait, why is this the hardest part out of all? Okay, let me stand up and put all my weight. Oh, <sighs> there you go. Okay, eyes check. And now let's just quickly close this up. And here we have a potato. I'm having fun so far.
It also has instructions on how to make the arms, but I don't know. I think it looks cute without the arms. What do you guys think? This is how they turned out, and I think they turned out super cute. So yeah, guys, I think I'm good for today. I guess I'll make my melody a different day. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!